Greetings everyone, BJ Waller back with you for a special uh, video here um, of doing uh, some rearrangements and uh, just uh, showing the tips and tricks, I guess you could say, of uh, how to maximize uh, some of your honor gain in your villages here. Alright, so let's go to a village, uh, Bordonius, let's go to Bordonius, we're going to do a couple of them here. Oh, Bordonius. Boom. Because uh, as I've been going through here, I've noticed some villages um, need some work. Uh, they're not performing as good as they could uh, with honor gain from the honor, um, honor buildings here. So we've been going through this week and just uh, doing some rearranging to help uh, maximize the honor gain that we can get from these buildings. Now these are unlocked in the uh, education tree. Go down here. Boom. I believe they are under literature and decoration. So under the greater branch of the arts, the first two there, literature and decoration, you unlock them by research. So this is the popularity. Literature gains you popularity. Theaters, Chester Courts, Dancing Bears, Troubadour, Aradors, Maypoles, decoration gains you um, the honor uh, modifiers here so flower beds dovecoats stone statues formal gardens and gilded statues so uh, all the items in those two branches need to be placed near the keep the closer they are to the keep the more honor you will gain as you can see it's all dependent on proximity to the keep, the amount of honor you gain, or of course, the amount of popularity you gain, which of course helps the honor modifier. So uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look. Uh, we of course have a premium token in, so we are able to shift stuff around. Uh, so if you already have stuff placed or you capture a village with stuff placed and you want to maximize um, maximize this stuff because it was a poor build or something to that effect, uh, you will need a premium token so you can move stuff around without having to uh, spend time and resources to delete and rebuild. So we're going to start by moving stuff a good distance away from the keep here that way we've got plenty of room to uh do what we need to do of course as you can see we now have uh more peasants than we have housing capacity but that will that will resolve itself once we move everything back around again all right so let's just start moving we want everything to move away from the keep stuff over here. Uh, maple. Maple. Flower bed. Oh, flower bed. There it is. That's the bigger. Oh, that's the other flower bed. There's the maple. The dancing bear. You can also hold down, if you hold down the shift key, uh, you can look behind 
buildings over the cur that the cursor is over. So hold down the shift key and you'll be able to see what's behind the keep. You know, we can look behind the churches. So it makes transparent, uh, holding down the shift key, it makes transparent uh, whatever building you're hovering your cursor over. I may want to move the church too a little bit. I don't know, or the cathedral. I don't know if I can get the cathedral up more. No, I think I tried moving that before. That's as far north as I can get her. Um, so we have a formal garden there. Also helps with selecting what's ever behind something. So let's get these guys over here. Coat. Let's see. Yep, so we got four more dove coats to build. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, there we are. Boom. I guess I should have highlighted what the uh, what my original honor was when we started, but you know, you can go back and just pause the video to see that. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so there we go. Keep is clear. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, and of course to build these things, it's under the uh, town buildings tab. Your entertainment sub menu is your five popularity uh, enhancing items and the decorative sum sub menu are your five honor gain honor enhancing uh, items uh, of course you can only build one of each of those and these uh, the amount you can build is dependent on the item uh, you can basically build five of each, except for the stone statues, you can build ten. So, uh, let's get started. Of course, the, um, now for the entertainment buildings, the maximum amount of popularity you can gain from them, uh, any one of them, is six. So you want to adjust, so you can see no matter where we place around the keep, it won't go any higher than six. Theater is the biggest, so we always place the theater in the back here, right about here. Of course, you can find, uh, maybe you can find different positionings. The, the, well, I'm about to show you sort of the position, positionings I have found to, uh, to you know, maximize my uh, popularity from these buildings and uh, try to gain as most honors I possibly can. Seems to work, of course, you might find slightly different positionings. Uh, that work as well so we'll put the theater right back here kind of putting it on the corner of the keep as best i can so as you can see smiley face with the six uh at the top of the theater right where the wood uh wood car or the lumberjack was walking so the number you want to pay attention to the number that's right above the building uh so it was right there uh if we click this number of white sometimes it's hard to see if we put it in a dark area here so you can see right above the statue there that 1310 1313 cannot be placed here 10 uh, that's the number you want to be paying attention to the higher the number the better so down here we're 22 up there we're 13 so let's go ahead and finish our bones here so the next one is the jester's court we put the jester's court right back here uh, right next to the theater as you can see we got six so that's what we want we want to have six we want to have six on all these buildings the troubadour Ar arbor I'm gonna put here now we're gonna put this one on this side of the theater but notice that I am not putting it directly next to the keep 
right here is directly next to the keep. This one we can pull out a little bit. If we go here, it's five. We go in one more, it's six. So we want six, but we don't want it directly next to the keep, as we'll see in a minute here. So there's six directly next to the theater with some space between it and the keep. Boom. The maypole. So again, the maypole, same thing. Um, six. So it's five here, six. It's not directly next to the keep. It's about one space out from the keep. Uh, both the theater and the uh, jester's court are uh, as far in close to the keep as I can get them. Uh, but right here, six. You can see if I move this one, I think. So we can go a little bit further out. So that may work for you too. But again, I've... Uh, these two I keep close to the keep. These three I keep a little further away from the keep. Now the dancing bear I'm going to put down here. So you'll notice the dancing bear is one of the ones that can... Uh, can go a, a good distance out from the keep depending on where you place it. Uh, and we'll throw it right there and still maintain the maximum uh, popularity from it. Okay, next up we're going to work our way. Uh, first thing we're going to do are the formal gardens. Now they are the fifth thing you can unlock. Um, the gilded statues, you, as we saw in the research screen, was the final IME lock. I'm going to start with the formal garden here first. So with a formal garden, we'll throw it next to the keep. As you can see, the maximum amount of honor you get from the formal garden is 24. Maximum amount of honor you get from the gilded statue is 32. So, and of course, these numbers will change depending what age you are in. Currently on this world, we are in the sixth age. So we've so these are worth a lot higher than uh, earlier ages. But for the current age, 32 is the max for these. So these are the highest producing honor things. Uh, the flower beds, the first thing you unlock, are the lowest producing eight. And uh, those numbers are key, um, as we'll see in a minute here. So eight is the closest. Further away you go, now we're down to seven. We're down to six. We're down to five. So... A flower bed, you can see even way out here, the flower bed is worth four. So get good distance from the keep, uh, and you're only losing four points of honor for this particular item. Now this is what's key uh, with these items. Here's 32. Okay, here's one that's worth 32, right next to the keep. Now if we put this out where the flower bed is, we are down to 20. Now it's only worth 20, the same distance away from the keep that the flower bed is. The flower bed being that far distance, you're only losing four points of honor. With the gilded statue, that the same distance away from the keep, you are losing 12 points of honor. So that's this is this is the key to maximize your honor. The the higher producing honor uh, type buildings lose more honor. The further they're away from the keep than the lower producing ones are so you always kind of want to start with the highest producing honor buildings first and putting them the closest to the keep you can get them so we're going to start with the formal garden so i'm going to throw one right in here because this gives us 24 so it tucks in nicely right here between the maypole and the uh keep two Three, four. I should have five of these. One, two, three, four. Am I missing one? Should have one somewhere else out here. So you should be able to build five of these. One, two, three, four. So I'm missing one somewhere. I just don't see where it is. Mm. 
There it is. It's hiding. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. There we go. Hence why it's very handy. <laughs> so we've got one, two, three, four, five. So the most we can build for that is five. All right, so let's go ahead. Now we're going to place these right in here. Boom. So we can get a little bit closer to the keep there, but again, to maximize spacing around the keep, we're going to tuck them in like this. 24. So we always want to have 24 on these guys so we can go right about there. So now all our happiness buildings give us six. All our formal gardens give them the max of 42. Now we're going to start with it. Now I'm going to start with the gilded statue. Again, we can put that one there. This one can go right here. So next up now, so as you notice, I, I, I just uh, start with the formal garden because it's slightly easier to fit them into these spaces here. Of course, you could do the gilded statue in those spaces and do the formal gardens there. This is just how I, I ended up doing it for myself. Again, you just want to make sure you're getting the max honor for each of, the, uh, each of these buildings. But they are pretty much interchangeable in these spots because they all take up the same amount of space here. Uh, they're small. They have a small footprint. Their foot, the footprint between these two are equal, so you can go actually either way. Start with a gilded statue and put the formal gardens there. Just, again, you know, however you want to do it. This just happens to be how I ended up doing it for myself. Okay, now we're going to do the big guys here. So as you can see, on certain sides of the keep, too, you have... Uh, you lose honor gain faster, I've noticed... Uh, on this side so we're pretty close to the keep here we're only getting 21 we go over here yeah you know, we're pretty much about the same distance from this side of the keep but we're still getting 24 so I've noticed this side of the keep uh, you got a little bit of room to play with you don't lose as much honor as quickly uh, or as as you know, you can go a little bit further out from the keep before you start losing the honor. On this side, uh, you're losing the honor a little bit more quickly or a little bit more closer to the keep. So, so we're going to go start out here in the front. We're at 21. There's 24. So we're going to... So again, these guys, their maximum honor, like the formal garden, is 24. So that's what we want to look for, 24. Four there, but I kind of want to keep it a little bit closer. I may have to move this guy. Let me move this guy out of the way for the moment. We might have to shift you back around somewhere else, but let's see. So we'll put you there. And again, you can build 10 of these. So I tend to leave this this side of the uh, the front and this side of the keep reserved for these guys. So this one we're going to watch a little bit because popping out gives us 21 out here. So we got to be a little bit closer on this corner. We're 24. A little bit further out there, but we want it a little bit backside there. 24. We are 20. Four. I want to go right about there with that one. Now this should be... This should be... up. Oh, no, we can get 24 there. 24 there. So we want to go... Either way. Uh, this will be the last one you can actually get the maximum gain out of. So either either way... However you want to arrange stuff around. I'm going to put a little bit closer to the keep, a little bit more north. So now this one, 
uh, we cannot get 24 out of because we've pretty much used up all the space we have around the keep for the maximum amount. So what we want to do is find the spot that gives us the next closest amount, which is 21. <clears throat> but we got to keep in mind, we still have dovecotes and the regular gardens to place around the keep as well. So again, uh, you know, the positioning uh, will de be dependent on what else you have around your uh, village, how much space you still have to build with. Uh, for this one, I tend to put it either on this side here. So this one, the max we can get out, this one is 21. So we're only losing three points there. So that's not too bad. Yeah. Again, as you can see, it's, you know, um, not that far out. And we're losing three points because we can get 21 here. So I'm going to put this one back here. So there's not much more space we can do with here. So we'll put it out here out of the way. So boom, we'll go 21. Okay, next up are the dovecotes. So I usually use the dovecotes. Now with the dovecotes, the max honor you can get with a dovecote is 16. So if we bring this out here, as you can see, we have the dovecote next to that statue. The statue is losing three points of honor. The dovecote's only losing two. So that's why we do it in this order here. So for the most part, when you're building a village, you may want to wait to place the honor producing gains until you have it all researched and can unlock them all and then just start building from the highest on out but again uh, if you play a premium token then you can just shift stuff around as you unlock it so with a dove coat we're going to put you here because we can get 14 in that spot so we'll go boom there now we're going to build the rest of our dove coats here because again with a premium token we can have a building queue of up to five buildings in queue so right now for the dovecote we're looking for 14s so there's a 14 there so i tend to put the dovecotes out in the front here but we just want to look for 14 because 14 is the best we're going to be able to get out of the dovecotes again minimizing the amount of honor we lose and i should be able to get a 14 usually around here there's a 13 can I get 14 out of this? No. So again, sometimes it depends on where I place things. I place things a little bit off. Uh, sometimes I can get a dove coat in here. Sometimes I can't, but we can't. So we're going to throw you right there where we can get that 14. All right. So there we go. We've got all our dove coats built. So we've got all, all, the, all of them built that we need. Now we're going to move the formal garden or the flower beds. So again, flower beds now, uh, we're looking for sixes, so we're only losing two points. Whereas if we were using uh, one of the latter ones, we'd probably be losing about three or, f three or four points. So double what we're losing here. So I tend to put one here, but let me see if we can get our apple back in here, apple farm. Here. we can't get it in there I can always I'll put it back out here it gives me a little bit more space around the keep so we'll put you back out here and uh, still gives us still gives us more than enough food that we need so no a little bit loss of production here because I think uh, we were getting a little bit more gain there but again that's we've got more than enough to cover that so that's that's immaterial um, the important part here is maximizing this stuff. All right, so now we can put the flower bed right, tuck you right here in this corner. And then I tend to put the other flower beds out this way because they can go further out. They can go on the other side of the Troubadour Arnor, uh, the um, theater, and we're still gaining six out of them. So. Boom. And I think we just get six right here in this corner there. So there we go with that. I can, ooh, look at that. I can even pull it in closer doing that. There we go. So there. Now we have all our honor buildings gained. All our popularity buildings. Pretty much maximizing the amount of popularity and honor we can get out of that stuff here. Again, you might be able to find a point or two if you arrange it a little bit differently than I did. 
but uh, that's pretty much what you want to do to at least try to get the maximum amount of honor and popularity gain you can uh, out of these buildings uh, to maximize your daily honor gain here. So uh, 29, again, we'll have to uh, take a look at what the original honor gain was uh, with this. Of course, it's going to be a little bit different because popularity is lower because we have overpopulation. So now we've got to move these guys back. So right now we're at 29,448. So we're going to move these guys back here. Again, we're going to lose a little bit of population capacity. But uh, these, again, uh, the, the hovels can uh, go a good distance from the keep without losing too much here. So once we get all these back, I usually try to keep each hovel around 12. We'll get those guys back there. So there's our hovel. As you can see, we are still overpopulated by three. So we did lose three spaces of popularity because I did have one of these right next to the keep, which is about a 14 or a 15 uh, based on my research. Uh, but easily enough to rid yourself of population. We'll go. Boom. We'll get an army. Now we're back to uh, underpopulated. That takes care of that. So again, uh, it's more important for me to have maximum honor and popularity gain here uh, and lose a little bit of, of popularity capacity because we still have a lot, you know, we still have a handful of hovels we can build more to work our popularity up. So you got leeway with that. And let's see, the last thing I think we need to move, uh, let me see here, we have oh, these two guys. So again, you know, I had these right next to the keep to maximize the honor gain. Not quite as important because you're always gaining or to, to maximize production. Um, so we lose some production here, but again, that's not as vital because these always produce. Um, you know, with these constantly producing, losing, you know, two or three per day uh, really isn't that big of a deal. So we're going to put this guy out here. And I tend to put the Taylor's Workshop right out here. So there you go. So as you can see, you know, we're maxed out on that. So it's really nothing, nothing lost. And again, you're only losing um, three, maybe four at the most uh, between being right next to the keep and then being this distance out from the keep. Uh, we're getting 46 here. I think maybe 50 is the max next to the keep. Uh, so we're only losing four per day. That's that's really insignificant amount compared to um, the amount of honor per day you may be losing with these things. You know, you know to have this here, we have to move two of these out. That's losing us six honor per day, as opposed to you know four items per day um, for honor. So there you go. That's uh, that's how you maximize your honor and popularity gain. As you can see, now we went from just by moving the hovels from 39 to 44,000, almost 45,000 honor per day. Of course, the total honor you gain is based on the popularity uh, as well. You know, your church, what churches you have, your arts research, your Paris bonus. So here's the key here, the decorative. So we have uh, 500 and 61 decorative so we're gonna do one more village here i think uh but that that gets you the gist of it so there's there's that's really the key you want to look at too is is your decorative um thing in there so let's go ahead and take a look at another village so basically like another village that is not quite um brilliant not quite maximized as you can see definitely not maximized here only getting 21 out of these guys. We're getting a 32 here. These can go a little bit further out from the keep. But all these guys here, 20, we 16 on that one. No, 21 on that one. So again, 13, 12. So you see we're losing, we're we're losing quite a bit of popularity. And decorative, we only have 583. So let's Okay, so we finished uh, rearranging Brillain here. So as you can see, uh, again, uh, just by making rearrangements here, 
Uh, I gotta move some stuff uh, back again here. In fact, let me finish moving my uh, my things. Let's see, we'll go. We'll move you guys a little bit. Closer. Just move you guys over on this side. There's some more rearranging I may want to do in this village for other stuff. But uh, again, for the purposes of what we're doing here, see here. So we've rearranged everything. So as you can see, uh, we started our honor when we before we rearranged was fifty five thousand eight hundred and eight. So we've gained almost four thousand honor uh, per day just by rearranging. And again, if we look at the breakdown, this was five eighty three before. Now it's up to six seventeen. So, again, you know, uh, 4,000 may not sound like a lot just for one village, but when you do this for 10 villages, that's 40,000. That's an extra 40 to 50,000 honor. So that's like having just an extra village just by, uh, just by uh, maximizing uh, your, your honor gain with this. Uh, the only thing with Berlin here is that we did lose some popularity. In fact, we are losing popularity right now. So this will actually end up being a little bit higher because right now we've got some negative popularity with the overpopulation. But again, easily solved. Just build another hovel and then uh, we'll end up with another 12. That'll be 70, 80. Uh, so we'll rid ourselves of the overpopulation. We'll regain... Uh, was it four percent four points of uh, popularity there which will certainly bump this up to over 60,000 give us probably about four and a half to five thousand on our gain uh, more than we had previously so there you go everyone thanks for watching I am BJ Weiler until next time I will see you in game